It's Wednesday, February 29th. This is your SLU News 22 update. In headlines today, President Barack Obama's speech last night in front of both houses of Congress has been giving positive reviews and was filled with hope and optimism. We will rebuild, we will recover, and the United States of America will emerge stronger than ever, be stronger than before, Mr. Obama said to the assembled people and viewers at home last night. The president will announce his first budget on Thursday. In national news, NASA's orbiting carbon observatory crashed shortly after launch at the Vandenberg Air Force Base in California. The $287 million satellite was part of NASA's climate monitoring efforts. Shortly after the 1.55 a.m. launch, the fairing, a clamshell device that shields the satellite during liftoff, did not fall away. The rocket was then unable to escape, reach escape velocity and crashed. In international news, a Turkish airline passenger jet has crashed in a field, of Harm in, a field in Harmelimir, a suburb of Amsterdam, and has killed nine. Flight 1951, which was carrying 135 people, crashed a half mile from the runway on approach to Amsterdam's Schiphol International Airport. There are at least 50 injuries. The Boeing 737 was last inspected in December. In sports, tonight is women's basketball senior night at Chaffetz. The Lady Bills are playing St. Bonaventure at 6 a.m. The men are also playing St. Bonaventure in New York tonight at 6 as well. The Bills softball team is playing a doubleheader in Columbia at 3 and at 5. I will see you back here tomorrow. Until then, good day and good luck.